a song that was learned from the fairies as they bathe their babies by a stream. It's got quite a tricky bass line going on all the time. You can't really think much in chord shapes with this. You've just got to take both melodies as they come because there's as much tune going on in the bass as there is in the original tune played in the treble. Looking at the first bar, you've got a bit of a C chord but it soon disappears and at one point you've got to use three fingers. So just looking through the fingering of the first bar, first and third fingers on a bit of a C chord, you may as well take them off after that and then put them down on this top bit of a C with a G on top. So just playing that sequence. So you can hear in the bass on top of together again same thing happens in the second bar so that's okay moving on to the third bar you've got another thing where another um, bass line playing underneath quite a busy bass line underneath on top of put it together play slowly In the fourth bar, it's something quite similar, but not quite the same. So you've just got to separate out the uh, what your thumb does, which is all the bass notes, and what your fingers do, which is everything else. So bass is playing, uh, thumb is playing these bass notes, fingers are playing everything else. So we'll just run through that fourth bar slowly. It's Then you've got a repeat of what you started off with in bars five and six. Bar seven is almost the same as bar three, but for the last note, and it's leading into an A minor chord. So I'll just play through bar seven, leading into bar eight's A minor. It's like this. It's a minor. Play that again. So, as I say, you can't really think in chord shapes. You've just got to think of two tunes working together and fingering it accordingly. section it's moving up to third position so you're normally based in first position first finger near first fret move your hand up the fretboard put down these two notes which are an A and a C in fifth fret and then have your first finger on fret 3 and F so that's your first bit move everything down to first position so you just slide those fingers down slide that little finger down add on first finger and uh, second finger and you'll get this Put the movement together, and then you go up again in the third beat, put that together again, in the next bar, quite C bass, you can think of C in this one, little finger down, and up to a C chord. In the next bar, it's quite busy, you go start off with a kind of bit of a D minor really, but only these two fingers of it. Bring your, third, uh, your first and third fingers behind this, they're going to play this tune. And put them together so you sound like this. Again. And now move on to bar 12, and it's a little bit of light relief, it's not too bad. You're just going to hold down the second finger, and then put two down together and then play an open third string underneath, again. The next bit you'll be relieved to hear is the same as bars 11 and 12, and at the very end it gets really busy, it's quite tricky this, I'll take it really slowly. We're now looking at bar 12, 34, bar 15, 
Again, don't really think in chords, just think of two tunes working together. Really slowly, it's like this. Again, slowly. You'll see a bar with a one over it and two little dots at the end. That's a repeat sign. You go back to the beginning, you play through everything again. When you get to this section, you jump over what's called the first time bar, the one with one over it, and you just play the second time bar. So it's a different ending. I'll just go from the last uh, bar before that, which would be 12, 13, 14, bar 15 and bar 16, which is the one with two over it. It'll sound like this. that's different is the chord I've ended up with, which is a C chord rather than A minor. Now I'll try and play through the whole thing really slow, just to see if we can unravel some of the difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> 